Step back to 1924 and you'll find yourself in the captivating world of The Thief of Baghdad. This classic film, with its timeless appeal, weaves a tale of adventure and fantasy that keeps you hooked from start to finish. As you delve into the narrative, brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions from the funny and shocking to the downright poignant. Among the myriad roles in this cinematic gem, which one stole your heart? Each character adds a unique flavor to the story, leaving you with a choice that may surprise even yourself. What makes The Thief of Baghdad endure as an everlasting symbol of the film industry? Is it the groundbreaking visuals, the compelling storytelling, or perhaps a combination of both? Share your thoughts as you explore the enduring qualities that have etched this movie into the annals of cinematic history. Before we continue, we're eager to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this film. Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. Hey, connection to The Thief of Baghdad is what makes it truly special. Stay tuned for more insights and anecdotes about this cinematic gem. There are many more fascinating facts ahead. Keep watching. The Thief of Baghdad, a 1924 silent fantasy film, has left an indelible mark on cinematic history, its impact resonating across decades. Directed by Raoul Walsh, the movie's legacy lies in its groundbreaking use of special effects, lavish set designs, and innovative storytelling. It follows the escapades of a plucky young thief, played by Douglas Fairbanks, as he navigates a mythical Arabian Nights-inspired world in pursuit of love and adventure. This cinematic gem was a testament to the creativity and technical prowess of its time. Its groundbreaking special effects, including flying carpets and magical transformations, set a standard for fantasy filmmaking. The vibrant and bustling visual landscape, coupled with the enchanting narrative, captivated audiences and laid the groundwork for future cinematic endeavors. Fairbanks' charismatic performance as the titular character contributed to the film's enduring appeal. His swashbuckling charisma and acrobatic feats showcased a versatile talent that transcended the silent film era. The success of the movie also cemented Fairbanks' status as a cinematic icon, leaving an enduring imprint on the industry. Its influence can be seen in subsequent adaptations and reimaginings of the Arabian Nights tales in film and literature. The Thief of Baghdad's legacy is not only marked by its technical achievements, but also by its cultural impact, inspiring generations of filmmakers to explore the realms of fantasy and adventure. Even in today's cinematic landscape, where technology has evolved exponentially, the film remains relevant. Its timeless themes of love, heroism, and the allure of the fantastical continue to resonate with audiences. The enduring charm and influence can be traced in the DNA of modern fantasy epics, making it a cornerstone of the genre's history. In conclusion, the impact on cinema, the enduring legacy, and continued relevance underscored the significance in the annals of film history. The groundbreaking techniques, charismatic performances, and captivating narrative have solidified its place as a cinematic treasure, inspiring storytellers for generations to come. The Thief of Baghdad, released in 1924, marked the film debut of David Sharp. The production spanned 28 weeks, showcasing a considerable commitment to bringing this cinematic piece to life. In a notable early scene, the thief navigates through the bustling marketplace, leaping in and out of giant clay pots. To achieve this, Douglas Fairbanks ingeniously employed small trampolines inside each pot. This clever technique allowed him to bounce effortlessly from one pot to another, adding a dynamic and visually impressive element to the film. The behind-the-scenes insight into the film's creation, such as Sharp's debut and Fairbanks' innovative approach to filming, adds depth to the appreciation of The Thief of Baghdad. These details highlight the dedication and creativity involved in producing this cinematic work. The Thief of Baghdad, a classic film released in 1924, holds a unique position in cinema history. Available in the public domain, various black and white copies on VHS and DVD offer accessible glimpses into this cinematic gem. Its poster, voted 9 among the 25 best movie posters ever by Premiere Magazine, attests to the film's enduring visual impact. One distinctive feature of the film lies in its use of tinting to enhance the viewing experience. The black and white prints, predominantly tinted in yellow amber, take on nuanced hues during specific scenes. Nighttime exteriors adopt a serene blue and violet tint, while moments charged with passion or emotion are bathed in pink and red tones. 
Such meticulous details, coupled with the behind-the-scenes brilliance we explored earlier, reveal the depth and commitment invested in the Thief of Baghdad. From inventive filming techniques to iconic poster design and innovative color tinting, every aspect contributes to the film's timeless allure. In conclusion, The Thief of Baghdad, with its accessible copies and iconic poster, coupled with the subtle tinting choices, stands as a testament to the artistry and dedication of those involved in its creation. A cinematic masterpiece that continues to captivate audiences. Douglas Fairbanks drew inspiration for The Thief of Baghdad from a scene in Paul Lenny's German film Waxworks. This classic is listed in the 1001 movies You Must See Before You Die, an acknowledgement of its cinematic significance. In 2019, a meticulous 4K restoration of the film took place, spearheaded by Patrick Stanbury. Conductor Mark Fitzgerald edited and re-recorded Mortimer Wilson's original score for this restoration, with Kevin Brownlow serving as a consultant. While Fitzgerald's recording is available on a compact disc since 2022, a Blu-ray or DVD release with the updated score is yet to be seen. These additional facets contribute to The Thief of Baghdad's enduring impact, making it a must-see in cinematic history. A testament to the dedication of those involved, this film continues to captivate audiences. An aerial photo of the expansive set designed to envelop the surroundings showcases its towering nine-story presence. Silent film advantages become apparent as noisy caterpillar tractors leveling a vacant lot just 100 feet away remain unnoticed during the shoot. The vertical sets fully utilize the four-screen ratio, a feat later echoed by how the West was won with the Cinerat 289 one ratio. The magic carpet illusion, a highlight of the film, originated from director Walsh's observation of a steelworker on a construction site. Implementing a crane on a soundstage combined with an overhead pulley, a carpet with woven steel straps and discrete wires brought the illusion to life. Camera angles and precise editing added the finishing touches to this cinematic marvel. Fairbanks, the driving force behind the film, secured the story's licensing for a 1940 remake in 1939, mere weeks before his sudden demise at 56. The thief of Baghdad's enduring impact and creative ingenuity persist, making it a significant chapter in cinematic history. Douglas Fairbanks at 41 showcased remarkable physical prowess in The Thief of Baghdad, a 1924 film where he initially contemplated using color, only to change his mind at the last minute, as revealed by Anna May Wong. The storyline, set after the 9th century reign of Caliph Harun al-Rashid, unfolds as two thieves attempt to emulate a kidnapped princess tale. Fairbanks' athletic performance, coupled with the decision to film in black and white, captures the essence of this classic, which, despite Fairbanks' untimely demise, remains a cinematic milestone. The film's narrative, inspired by an observation on a construction site, weaves a magic carpet illusion, highlighting Fairbanks' commitment to innovative storytelling. These aspects, emanating from Fairbanks' creative decisions and physical prowess, cement The Thief of Baghdad as a cinematic gem. In creating the iconic flying carpet effect for The Thief of Baghdad, Douglas Fairbanks ingeniously stood on a 34-inch thick steel sheet attached to 16 piano wires. Rigged to a crane, this setup lifted him above the crowd, achieving a mesmerizing illusion in the film. Originally, Evelyn Brent was cast as the princess, but after posing for production stills, she requested to be released from the role. Julian Johnston, initially cast as the Mongol slave, took on the princess part, while Anna May Wong assumed the role of the Mongol slave. The film premiered at the Liberty Theater in New York, with Douglas Fairbanks, the star and producer, making a dramatic entrance onto the stage at the film's conclusion. This opulent production, costing almost two million and taking five weeks to shoot, marked a significant achievement for United Artists, formed five years earlier in 1919. These behind-the-scenes insights into the flying carpet effect and casting changes add depth to the appreciation of The Thief of Baghdad. The film's premiere at the Liberty Theater and its notable production cost further contribute to its cinematic legacy.